you should be allowed to bring the name of our state or even the country up because you are best at your game. Yeah, Cindy, what's going on? What's the exact situation? Because everybody is speculating something. And of course, you know how when rumor spreads, it spreads wild. So you tell us from the horse's mouth, what's going on? All right. So first of all, thank you so much for inviting me to the show. Um, and, and this is a great opportunity, I think, for me to actually really explain what is going on. Um, Malaysian Swimming actually did not bar me. They didn't block me. It was actually KL State. So I... I'm registered with Kuala Lumpur and Kuala Lumpur has actually blocked me and, and told me that master swimmers are to be excluded from Malaysia Open, which has never happened before in the past because I participated in Malaysia Open. Um, I participated in Malaysia Open a few years ago. Right. And so this has never happened before and there is no such age limit. So it's actually merit-based. As long as you meet um, 500 FINA points, mm -hmm. you are um, you automatically qualify to swim for okay. that state um, in the meet. So, um, and then, um, you know, when KL kind of blocked me, I went up to the national level, I went to the Malaysian Swimming Federation and they told me to refer back to the state. So mm -hmm. basically state pushed to the national level, national level pushed back to the pushed state and in the end, yeah, and in the end, um, you know, I... Okay, so a master swimmer is a competing athlete who is above 35 years old. 25 25 years old so you think that this is it could have been like an age related issue well that's what i was told that was the main um, reason what is that master swimmers are not um to be included in the meet so uh, master swimmers are 25 and above and uh, that would mean that welson sim would have to step down this year because he's turning 25 this year uh -huh. and and all like Caleb Dressel, michael phelps um nicholas santos who is 41 and just broke his own world record in the 50 meter butterfly. Nicholas Santos is the oldest world record holder. Anthony Irvin won his his gold medal in the 53 at the age of 36. We've got Katinka Hozu. We've got, I mean, all these big names. Ranomi, yeah. Kromobijo. Ran yeah. And, so, and speaking about records, Cindy, you just broke a record. And in fact, you beat the top swimmer at, at her own game. So which is why I'm thinking when you spoke about merit earlier, you should be allowed to bring the name of our state or even the country up because you are best at your game. You've been a master swimmer for such a long time. What were some of the biggest obstacles that you had to go through uh, during your career? Oh, I would have to say uh, the number one, two, three on top is actually funding. Mm -hmm. um, I am, yeah, I am yes. self-funded. Uh, there's absolutely zero support from um, any parties, whether it's government or or private. Um, I, I've been very lucky to have Speedo as my sponsors. Uh, they are my main. Uh, so, you know, I don't have to pay for suits because these race suits cost thousands of, of ringgit. You can only right. use it for a year. And uh -huh. uh, yeah, and, and so I've been, um, actually, I am self-trained. I don't have a coach. Mm -hmm. um, I even have to, I mean, I only train in a condo pool. I don't even have a, a, a proper facility to train in. Um, no, so yeah, funding, basically. It all boils down to funding. No facilities, okay. no coach, no money, uh, self-funded.